Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Black Adder. Hopefully you guys having a fantastic day. Last episode was really, really funny, man. The General and Balder cracked me up in the episode, dude. Especially how over the top the General's acted about that pigeon. And how he didn't even try to like hide his bias doing the court case. <laughs> it was him! Oh my god. That was really good, man. I, I love how over the top he was. It was fantastic. And Balder saying a bunch of dinky stuff. Coming up with terrible plans. Hell, even the firing squad was pretty funny. They were a pretty funny group. And I love the conversation between George and Balder. Just two dinks trying to figure something out. It was just fantastic. It was really, really good. But yeah, it was a great episode. So let's just go ahead and jump into this one, folks. We'll talk about it more in the end. You're a bit cheesed off, sir. George, the day this war began, I was cheesed off. Within ten minutes of you turning up, I'd finished the cheese and moved on to the coffee and cigars. <laughs> and at this late stage, I'm in a cab with two lady companions on my way to the pink pussycat in Lower Regency. <laughs> well, because if you are cheesed off, sir, you know what would cheer you up? Well, that's a Charlie Chaplin film. Unfortunately, no, I don't. I find his film's about as funny as getting an arrow through the neck and then discovering there's a gas bill tied to it. <laughs> oh, big oh, part, no. sir, but come off. His films are ball-beltingly funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, well, let's consult the men for a casting vote, shall we, Baldrick? Charlie Chaplin, Baldrick, what do you make of him? Oh, sir, he's as funny as a vegetable that's grown into a rude and amusing shape, sir. <laughs> So you agree with me? Not at all funny. <laughs> oh, come on, Skipper, play fair. Thank in that you. last film of his, when he kicked that fellow in the backside, I thought I'd die. Well, no, of course not, sir. But you see, Chaplin is a genius. He certainly is a genius, George. He invented a way of getting paid a million dollars a year for wearing a pair of stupid trousers. <laughs> Did you find that funny, Baldrick? More well, funny, sir. <laughs> that funny? No, sir. And you mustn't do that to me, sir. Because that... It's a bourgeois act of repression, sir. What? And you smelt it, sir. There's something what? afoot in the wind. <laughs> the huddled masses yearning to be free. Baldrick, have you been to the diesel oil again? No, sir, I've been supping the milk of freedom. Already our Russian comrades are poised on the brink of revolution. And here too, sir, the huddled was names such as myself, sir, <laughs> are ready to throw off the hated oppressors like you and the What's lieutenant. That? Present company accepted, sir. Go and clean out the latrines. Yes, sir, right away, sir. <laughs> you see, now the reason why Chaplin is so funny is because he's part of the great British music hall tradition. Sir, it's all over the trenches. Well, mop it up then. <laughs> no, sir, the news. The oh, Russian shit. revolution have started. The masses have risen up and shot all their knobs. What oh, a rock! Oh, no, the bloody Russians have pulled out of the war. <laughs> well, we soon saw them off, didn't we, sir? Miserable, slant-eyed, sausage-eating swine. <laughs> The Russians are on our side. They've abandoned the Eastern Front. And they've overthrown Nicholas II, who used to be bizarre. <laughs> who used to be the Tsar, boy. <laughs> the point is that now the Russians have made peace with the Kaiser. At this very moment, over three quarters of a million Germans are leaving the Russian Front and coming over here. Well, the first question is, do you like Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> Dismiss, Lieutenant. <laughs> Do you like Charlie Chaplin? Yes, that is a good question for a candidate, uh, to which my answer would, of course, be, yes, I love him. Love him, sir. Uh, particularly the amusing kicks. Funny, sir, because I thought you said goodbye, goodbye George. <laughs> and the yeah, second yeah, question yeah. is, do you like music hall? Ah, yes, another good question, sir. Again, my answer would have to be, yes, absolutely love it. Yes. Well, you see, it's my view, Blackadder, that the kind of person who would answer yes to both of those questions would be ideal for the job. Wait a minute. <laughs> what, sir? <laughs> Why, without knowing it, Blackadder, you've inadvertently shown me that you could do the job. Oh, my God, just do it. <laughs> yes, sir. You have, sir. And I want you to start work straight away. A couple of shows over the weekend, and if all goes well, we'll start you off in London um, next Monday. Oh, Driver no. Parkhurst reporting for duty, sir. All right, and ease, Bob. Stand easy. Captain Blackadder, this is Bob. Bob? <laughs> Good morning, sir. An unusual unusual her. name for a girl. For season two. <laughs> well, yes, it would be an unusual name for a girl, but it's a perfectly straightforward name for a young chap like you, eh, Bob? <laughs> now, Bob, I want you to bunk up with Captain Blackadder for a couple of days, all right? Yes, sir. He has a splendid sense of humour. He, sir, he, he. <laughs> you see, you're laughing already. 
did you? <laughs> well, uh, Bob, I'll leave you two together. Why don't you uh, Bob? get to know each other, play a game of cribbage, uh, have a smoke, something like that. They tell me that Captain Blackadder has rather a good line in rough shag. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he'd be happy to fill your pipe. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> sir, you're a chap, are you, Bob? Oh, yes, sir. You wouldn't say you were a girl at all? Oh, definitely not, sir. I understand cricket. I fart in bed. Everything. Well, let me put it another way, Bob. You are a girl. And you're a girl with as much talent for disguise as a giraffe in dark glasses trying to get into a polar bears only golf club. <laughs> Oh, sir, oh, sir, please don't oh, give me shit. away, sir. I just wanted to be like my brothers and join up. The war hasn't been fought this badly since Olaf the Hairy, high chief of all the Vikings, accidentally ordered 80,000 battle helmets with the horns on the inside. <laughs> I want to do my bit for the boys, sir. Oh, really? I'll do anything, sir. Yes, I'd keep that to yourself if I was you, Bob. <laughs> all right, Bob. Slugs are always a problem. What you've got to do is screw your face up like this, you see? And then you can clamp it between your top lip and your nose. What? Like this, sir? That's it, that's it, that's splendid. Right. Uh, <laughs> sir, sir, there's a visitor to see you. Good Lord, Mr. Chaplin. This is indeed an honour. Why, calls for some sort of celebration. Ball break, ball break. This is extraordinary <laughs> because... <laughs> because you see, this isn't Chaplin at all. This is Baldwin. Oh my God. Yeah, it's me, sir. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, I'm just oh, being sarcastic. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh man. So Everything good. goes above your head, doesn't it, George? God, I love the theatre. <laughs> it's in my blood and in my soul. Baldrick, put those in some water, will you? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> I need that applause in the same way that uh, that an ostler needs his ostle. Well done, sir. I mean, tell me honestly, sir, I was, wasn't I? Well... No, no, come on, sir, Cook up with it, because I need to know, really, I was hopeless. No, well, no you're trying to be nice, and that's very sweet of you, sir, but please, come on, I can take it, I was hopeless. George, you were bloody awful. <laughs> with the box office. Personally, I thought oh, you were the shit. least convincing female impressionist since Tarzan went through Jane's handbag and ate her lipstick. <laughs> but I'm clearly in a minority. Deal. Look out, London. Here we come. I shall, of course, respect your wishes, Blackadder. However, I don't think you need to be quite so protective. I'm sure she's a girl with a great deal more spunk than most women you find. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Absolutely oh, not gross. <laughs> profoundly immoral and utterly wrong. I will not do it. We can always find another leading lady. Well, the dress will need a clean. <laughs> Excellent. Now, the important thing is that Melchit should, under no circumstances, realise that you're a man. Yes, yes, understand that. In order to ensure this, there are three basic rules. Don't get drunk and let him shag you on the veranda. <laughs> 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 I know exactly what I'll say to her. Darling. Yes, sir? <laughs> what? Um, I don't know, sir. Well, don't butt in. <laughs> I want to make you happy, darling. Well, that's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> Will you kindly stop interrupting? If you don't listen, oh, no. how can you tell me what you think? I want to cover every inch of your gorgeous body in pepper and then sneeze all over you. <laughs> I'm a protest. What is the matter with you, darling? <laughs> It's just all so sudden. Oh, gross. <laughs> I mean, the nest bit's fine, but the pepper business is definitely out. How dare you tell me how I may or may not treat my beloved Georgina? Melchit isn't married, is he? No, no, all his life he's been waiting to meet the perfect woman. And at last, tonight, he did. Well, some poor unfortunate had old walrus face dribbling in her ear all evening, did she? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I did have to drape a napkin over my shoulder, yes. <laughs> George, are you trying to tell me that you are the general's perfect woman? Well, yes, I rather think I am. <laughs> well, thank God the horny old blighter didn't ask you to marry him. Oh, shit. <laughs> you did? You love this too much. Well, how did you get out of that one? Well, to be honest, sir, I'm not absolutely certain that I did. <laughs> what? Well, I don't understand what it was like, sir. You know, the candles, the music, the huge moustache. I, I don't know what's over me. You 
said yes. Oh, my God. Of course, there is a general. I didn't really feel I could refuse. <laughs> he might have had me court-martialed. Whereas, on the other hand, of course, he's going to give you the Victoria Cross when he lifts up your frock on the wedding night <laughs> and finds himself looking at the last oh, no. turkey in the shop. <laughs> And then when oh, he looked shit. into my eyes and said, Chipmunk, I love you. Chipmunk! <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it's his special oh, name no. for me, you see. It, it says my nose looks just like a chipmunk. Oh, God! Well, it's serious, serious. Oh, Come on, dear. If the general ever finds out that gorgeous Georgina is in fact a strapping six-footer from the rough end of the trench, <laughs> he could precipitate the fastest execution since someone said... This Guy Fawkes bloke, do we let him off or what? <laughs> Unfortunately, she was in such a daze, she danced straight through the trench and out into no man's land. Uh, I tried to stop her, but before I could say, don't tread on a mine, <laughs> she trod on a mine. Oh, no! Well, I say a mine, it was more a cluster of mines, and she was blowing to smithereens, and as she rocketed up into the air, she said something I couldn't quite catch, uh, totally incomprehensible to me, something like, tell him his little chipmunk. Oh! 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 oh. Uh, it's heartbreaking, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, well, can't be helped, can't be helped. <laughs> Oh, it's jolly bad luck, sir. Oh, no, you get all that shit first. Because on top of everything else, <laughs> without your leading lady, you won't be able no. to put on the show. So, we're a bit stuck. Morning, chaps. Morning, Bob. Morning, Bob. You can say that again, George. We're in the stickiest situation since Sticky the Stick Insect got stuck on a sticky bun. <laughs> we are in trouble. Not any longer, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> May I present my cunning oh, plan? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Bowley. Can you sing? Can you dance? Or are you oh, offering shit. to be sawn in half? <laughs> I don't think those things are important in a modern marriage, sir. I offer simple home cooking. What happened to your revolutionary principles, Baldrick? I thought you hated the aristocracy. I'm working to bring down the system from within, sir. I'm a sort of a frozen horse. Trojan oh horse. <laughs> Anyway, I can't see what's so stupid about marrying into wealth for money and not having to sleep in a puddle. <laughs> no. It's the worst plan since Abraham Lincoln said, Oh, I'm sick of kicking around the house tonight. Let's go take in a show. <laughs> for a start, General Melchett is in mourning for the woman of his dreams. He's unlikely to be in the mood to marry a two-legged badger wrapped in a curtain. <laughs> Secondly, we are looking for a great entertainer. And you're the worst entertainer since St. Paul the Evangelist oh, no. toured Palestine with his trampoline act. <laughs> now we'll have to find somebody else. What am I doing, Bob? Sir? Still, what a brilliant idea! Bob, can you think of anyone who could be our leading lady? Oh, my God. <laughs> We received a telegram this morning from Mr. Chaplin himself at Senate Studios. Twice nightly screening of my films in trenches, excellent idea. Stop. But must insist E. Blackadder be projectionist. Damn. Oh, P.S. Don't let him ever... stop. <laughs> Cold blooded. Right. No hard feelings, eh, Blackadder? Not at all, darling. Uh, care for a licorice all sort? <laughs> Oh, gross. <laughs> Alright man, another really good episode. This was fantastic. This was like funny all the way through. And bringing Bob back was fantastic. That was awesome. <laughs> ah, so she said Bob and she walked in. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Bob from season 2. This is fantastic. I definitely thought he was going to end up falling forward. Like, you know, trying to have sex with her or something. And expected to go to Rada did definitely something new but especially when black adder was in such disbelief that the general would actually think that she was a man <laughs> and how upset black adder was when uh george said that he was like proposed to us like that oh my god this is a good episode i really like this black adder always like drops some really funny stuff man but he i feel like he dropped a lot of critical hits in this one, man a lot of this stuff was fantastic like all the jokes he made were really 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 good in this one i liked them online him shitting all over charlie chaplin i think i've only seen like maybe 
two minutes of Charlie Chaplin stuff. You know, I haven't watched a ton of his stuff. I think I've only seen Buster Keaton, some clips of his stuff, because he's the stunt guy, I believe. So I think I've seen him, him do a couple of stunts, like old films of that. But that's really about it. I never watched too much of that of either one of those. But yeah, man, overall, this is really good. This is a really, really funny episode. I thought it was fantastic. The general's out of control. I love how a real woman gets on stage and he calls her, like, what, a cross-dresser or something like that, but he falls in love with George. <laughs> Then gets over George, like, within, like, what, 10 seconds? That was fantastic. All around, this is really, really good, man. Balder was definitely funny in this. George was definitely funny in this. I'd say the best thing about this episode to me was Black Adder. Just about all his jokes hit. Usually, sometimes he'll make a joke, and I don't know the reference to it or something like that, but I'll say at least 98% of his jokes hit in this one. It was just fantastic. He just did such a good job in this one. I thought it was hilarious. The previous episode, like I said, I would say um, The General and Balder were my favorite parts about the previous episode this one was black adder i just really feel like he killed it with with every insult every insult was on point and fantastic and i really liked it all right man that is it i don't have anything else to say hopefully you guys are um happy safe and healthy i'll see you next one later